Hello my lovelies, Aries, this is going to be your October monthly. So I do these once a month for each of the 12 zodiac signs individually so you can kind of gauge what's coming for you in the next couple of weeks. October, obviously, we're in fall. We started that on the 22nd of September. So we had our fall equinox, which means the nights are getting longer, the days are getting shorter, fall, cooler temperatures, depending on where you live in the world. And I feel like a lot of changes for us as well internally. So we're in eclipse season. So that's about big changes and transformations of letting go. So that come spring, we can actually kind of turn over a new leaf and go in a new direction. So let's see what kind of areas we need to focus on in the month of October. So sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the sign of Aries. What does Aries need to know? What should their focus be in the month of October? Let's get a better shuffle. Aries. There we go. All right. We have an opportunity that's coming in for you. You could be seeing the number 11 as confirmation for that. A readiness for change. The question I have for you, Aries, is are you ready to change? Are you ready to make necessary arrangements or adjustments in your life in order to facilitate that change? Again, it could be internal. It could be external for you in the month of October, but something needs to change. So figure out kind of what that is going forward. Forward. Some sort of new opportunity might be beckoning you. Rainbows could also be significant for you. There's a rainbow in the center of this card. So there might be a lot of different things that um, Spirit's telling me kind of align at the right time for you to facilitate this opportunity. What action do you need to take this month? What does Aries need to take action on in the month of October? Surrender. Ooh, okay. Part of me feels like you might be... Um, hesitating when this opportunity comes along in order to change. So spirit wants you to actually surrender and release the need for control. What does that translate to? You have to go with a flow state. It means you can't buck the system. You can't fight against what these changes are. You need to roll with it and keep going forward. All right. So let's see what energy do you need to release this month? What do we need to see for Aries? What energy do they need to release? Ooh, practicalities. So focusing on your money. Maybe you focused too much on that. And normally I wouldn't say that because I'm kind of a penny pincher myself, but I would say that this is an indication you need to be more practical with kind of how you're spending your money. Um, you also are going to be working on your self-worth and boosting your finances in the month of October. So I almost get the sense that the divine is coordinating things behind the scenes to give you this opportunity, but you first have to surrender to kind of divine will in order to go forward. But it's going to be an opportunity for positive changes for yourself internally as well as externally. And and it's also an opportunity for more money coming in. All right. How should you enjoy yourself in the month of October? Ooh, with abundance. I love this. So spirit definitely has messages that come through with confirmations. So we have abundance that's trying to come in. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So do you believe that? I feel like that's part of the surrender is you actually have to believe that. And if you already do, that's half the battle, right? You're halfway there. So when this opportunity presents itself in the month of October or shortly thereafter, I feel like spirit is going to require you to surrender something that's not working in your life and actually work on yourself. And that in turn is going to bring in this abundance that you're looking for. All right. I want to know what's happening for you in love in the month of October. Tell me what's happening for Aries in love in the month of October. Ooh, we're working on healing. All right, so that's a good thing. Um, there could also be an opportunity coming in for you to heal something from like heartbreak, either freeing yourself from toxic cycles, relationships, addictions, really things that just aren't aligned with you in order to get to this new opportunity, right? We have to release, we have to surrender, we've got to be able to alchemize in order to actually transform. They're saying something about a major disruption, so there could be a disruption 
disruption to your normal routine. There could be a disruption in your body, um, in your thought process. And this is what leads to the change is the disruption. So know that it's going to actually shake things up to put you on the right path to where you need to be. It could also involve some unconditional love. Maybe you're giving that to yourself. Maybe that's part of your surrender is that you actually are giving yourself that unconditional love first. Um, it could also be that you're surrendering to love and finding the person that gives you that unconditional love, attention, attraction, affection, all of those really positive things. This is helping you to heal from heartbreak, a lot of pain that you've already dealt with. So you could be deeply hurt, sad. You could be in a period of separation from somebody that you genuinely love and have feelings for. There could have been an ending that really left kind of this hole. And so you might be dealing with some grief loss or mourning that connection. Remember that anything that is being removed from your life is for a reason. So if there's a breakup or a separation, if there's silent treatment, if there's abandonment wounds, those are all needing to be healed. You could have dealt with a narcissist. You could be dealing with somebody who's really like in a one-sided situation, really self-absorbed, or maybe they love bomb you. So it's time to let go of the outdated ways of thinking. So stop replaying old events over in your mind in the month of October. It's time to go in a new direction. That's where the opportunity comes in. All right, we're going to see what we have going on for you in the month of October. Show me what Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus needs to know. There you are, Aries. It's time for the new to come in. The magician tells us that you can literally create the life that you want. You speak it into existence. You dream it into existence. You are creating the life of your dreams. Make it your reality. So don't just think about it. Where do you need to take action to make that a reality? I feel like in work, or finances, things are starting to improve, but you've got to do the work to get to the good stuff, right? You can't just expect that you just wake up one day and here it is on a silver platter. Not usually how it works. I feel like this is an opportunity for better pay, for, um, you know, recognition potentially in your job, but definitely some positive changes and the change is needed. There could be multiple options coming in for you in the month of October when it comes to love and romance. Remember to use some caution there. Why? Well, because this isn't necessarily a good option or opportunity. So while you might have lots of people to choose from, remember that not everything that glitters is gold, meaning that something is not as it appears. So get to the bottom of that. There will be some good news to celebrate. It could be birthdays, anniversaries, celebrations, or parties coming in. There might be travel that you're also thinking of taking a trip. I feel like finances will be available for you to actually do so. You could be traveling, moving, relocating, purchasing a vehicle, taking a road trip, all of those things gaining forward momentum. And Spirit wants you to go in this new direction. So are you prepared to do that? I feel like this is needing you to kind of take a trust fall with the universe in the month of October and realize that Spirit always has your back and that you really don't have anything to fear if you know what you're getting yourself into. You also need to take some time to realize what's not working in your life and to go in a new direction away from conflict and chaos. You need peace in your life in order to function well. And if you don't have that currently, that is something that needs to change. You will have to choose when it comes to love. I feel like you have a lot of options, but there's only one that's really going to be what you're looking for. I love how in this deck, I have another one that it depicts it even better. These two only have eyes for each other. They're not looking for somebody else. They've found what they're looking for, but a choice still must be made when it comes to the future of this connection. I do feel like it could be a soulmate that maybe you are actually um, finally, you know, making that decision about to go forward. I feel like you're healing from a lot of previous pain and heartbreak, and you're going towards something that's much healthier. I do feel like there are boundaries that are needed for you in the month of October somewhere, whether that's with your finances, whether that's in a relationship, and there's some things that definitely need some work for you, but you need to be strong enough to actually draw those boundaries and to stick to them. You are burnt out and exhausted. You have a lot going on in the month of October. It's going to be busy for you. So don't forget to make self-care and rest a priority for yourself. Part of me thinks you're going to take like a little mini trip or vacation somewhere that allows you to actually have that downtime away from whatever it is you do to work, away from maybe toxic cycles or people, and that this is going to help you to actually kind of reclaim some of that energy that maybe has been lost. 
Financially speaking, things also improve, so that's a much needed blessing. You are cutting off certain people or situations that are draining to you in the month of October. I also think that this is telling you that um, the options in love that aren't serving your highest good are also going to be eliminated. I feel like you do choose one single um, option for you. Yeah, one single option for you in love. You see this person as your soulmate or as somebody that you really want to share your life with, and I feel like it's going to go the distance. So maybe this is an engagement. It could be a wedding coming up. It could be that um, sometimes I feel like you're celebrating other people's good news. It could be that as well, but I feel like this is you, that you're actually celebrating some positive changes. You may be dealing with the Pisces or you could be dealing with just about any sign. We've got everybody on the table here, but I feel like somebody is kind of holding back and I feel like there's cold feet because you haven't actually kind of moved forward and gone towards what it is you want. You haven't made the decision. And I feel like that's what's needed. The opportunity will present itself once you surrender and once you actually get practical about what you want. And that's when the abundance comes in. So spirit would like you to start thinking about your future. What does that look like for you? What is the next step in where you need to be for the next, you know, however long it is before you get to this point? And you need to pick a direction of which way you intend to go. We do need to let go of the heavy burdens in order to get to the good things. So let go of anything that's holding you back and be willing to make those changes. Remember, the changes are about surrendering and transforming this month so that you can go towards what it is you really want, a loving connection and a lot of abundance. Have a great month.